Hello everybody, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, I would just like to tell you that this video was possible thanks to the Sims 4 team and to Sims Guru Drake on Twitter as uh, she gave me an early access card just to test out this game. So now, the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs is finally here or probably in one day. I don't know when you're going to see this video. And wow, this is so good, like, to be honest, this is the pack that I've always been waiting for, I believe, and I will tell you more during this video, as I'm building the house, and yeah, I don't know uh, where to start, because it is so, so good. Um, so, um, I tested some aspects of the expansion pack, but not really the gameplay, so I couldn't tell you more about the gameplay because as you know I don't often play with the Sims but what what I can tell you is that I tested uh, create a pet mode and I really had fun with it and you probably already saw the video on the channel where I create a dog and yeah so I just like it because there are so many different types of dogs um, you can really make them just make them look just the way you want them to look and they're so cute like really um, so I tested the dogs and also the cats of course and I'm actually rather a cat person even if I really love dogs but well actually I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I'm rather a cat person over a dog person I just you know there are pros and cons uh, for both of them but yeah, and in general, I really love pets, and when I will have a bigger apartment or house, I will have a cat or a dog for sure, because it's something that I can't imagine living without. So, yeah, I just really had fun uh, creating my pets, and yeah, just like the humans, you can really create whatever you want, you can modify whatever you want, and... This is so, so good, <laughs> I really, um, there are some packs that are really good, like for example, uh, City Living, which is really fantastic, but this one, by far, is the best one, I believe, and, yeah, and also, I don't know if you know this, but you also can create um, a raccoon, which is really funny, and also a fox. So the fox is actually a dog, uh, it's a special type of dog, but it is considered as a dog in the game. But they're so, so cute, like really, I think the, the fox is the cutest thing in this um, particular expansion pack. So that's pretty much all what I can say about the create a pet mode. And I can tell you more about the building mode, because this is what we're doing right now, we're building a house. So this house is inspired by uh, Ampton style and of course the whole pack is inspired by the Amptons I believe because the new world Windleton Bay is located um, on the coast and it just looks like the Ampton coast I believe and this is a style that I really like and the world itself is not that big actually it's quite small but it is so beautiful um, and I'm a big fan of the seaside. I don't live far away from the, from the ocean so I go there quite often and there's something that is really relaxing and when I started playing in this world I was just thinking that it is a really relaxing world, a really relaxing place to, to play in and this is so good. The light is perfect. The landscape is perfect as well and everything is relaxing and fresh you know it's really something new for the game and I just like it in some aspects it looks like uh, Windenburg like it's not really a big city or anything it, there are a lot of nature and also there are big lots of course like the one I'm building right now which is a 64 by 64 lot and there's an island, 
Uh, the island here is really nice. It's a little island uh, far away from the coast with um, a lighthouse, which is really great looking. And I didn't know yet um, if you can build actually on this because there is a lot with sort of a museum this island and what I wanted to try is to build a house instead of the museum but I don't know if you can change the type of lots because I don't know if you know it but in uh, Windenburg there's this big um, house or castle the castle von Windenburg I believe it's called and you can change the type of uh, lot so I will test it and tell you in another video um, what we can do in this and if it's the case I will build a house there for sure because the view is absolutely fantastic so yeah the build mod is so so great and you know that I love the Hamptons style because I build like two or three houses on my channel based on this style but here it's like the best experience I had as a builder because there's so many new elements like new fences, new columns new roofs, of course we're gonna talk about the roof later um, new windows, new wallpaper, new floors, new everything, new fireplaces and in a style that I really 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 enjoy so yeah the roofs finally after three years that we were waiting for more roof they're finally here and they're just so so good like no, it's not even good, They're just normal, but um, we were all waiting for this and now it's here, so it's really exciting and we don't have to, to find tricks or anything to build a good looking octagonal roof, now it's here in the game and yeah, it just makes the game easier, more realistic and it's so nice and it's a bit stupid to say that, but it's gonna give way more building options because personally I'm a builder as a builder what I was building house uh, I was always trying to not to build octagonal um, rooms because I was sure that it was a nightmare to build a roof and now I just don't care I can build whatever I want and I know that we will have uh, a special roof for this and it's so nice because sometimes it was a bit frustrating because uh, a tower or anything would look would look great on your house, but you know, you were like, oh my god, I will struggle with the roofs, and I just I'm just not going to build this tower, or you know. So now it's here, and I'm so 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 happy. Um, yeah, I know it's a bit weird. Like um, I don't know if I if my friends were listening to me, they would be like, what the hell is he so excited about a, a roof, a virtual roof? But you know. Um, there's something, it's like a revolution in the sense for him, I'm so happy with it. So yeah, this is really an aspect of the game and that I really like. And of course you don't need to have the Sims for cats and dogs to have this option because it's a, it's included in the free patch that came just before uh, the expansion pack. Uh, also there are new trees that I just like, they're really good looking and that the trees that I used uh, on this lot and uh, some new plants and flowers that are also great looking not too sophist sophisticated sorry really natural looking and that's really what I was looking for and this is really great so um, that was the part about the um, exterior um, building mod and now we can talk more about the interior so as you can see there are new um, new paintings for the walls and new floors uh, wood floor that I just really really like it looks so natural I just love it and also the, all the objects are based on the seaside theme or Ampton style and I just love them. It is so soft, so cozy, and yeah, it's just all what I was looking for. A bit old-fashioned, I must say, but this is really a story that I enjoy. And you probably already saw it in the video, we are now able to build actual bow windows, 
with an actual uh, sofa that can really be put in the shape of the window and this is so enjoyable because this is really a kind of uh, interior decoration that I like and this is super cool to build it um, in The Sims 4. So uh, I could tell you now a bit more about the house itself. So I was building it. I really wanted to explore all the new aspect of the game uh, brought by this expansion pack. So the house is not ready yet because it has five bedrooms and an, I only did two. But it's one once it's complicated. Co oh, sorry. Once it's completed, yeah, um, it's gonna be sorry. It's gonna be uploaded on the gallery for sure. And yeah, but I was really excited to publish this, uh, this video just to explore all the options with you, just to make you see what is possible to do uh, in terms of building and ex interior decoration. And yeah, so the house, why I started building it, uh, I thought it was not a big um, house and it's actually pretty huge because uh, there's like a double entry hall with um, a big um, bathroom, a study room, there's a big dining room, a kitchen, um, a double living room and also another small living room connected to the kitchen and of course those uh, five bedrooms I just told you about. Um, which are really large actually I think uh, if I was building small bedrooms I could have built like eight or nine bedrooms I believe because they're really huge there are three master bedrooms or four I don't remember uh, but at least three that means that they have their own um, bathroom and two of them have a big uh, balcony uh, one of them is located in the tower that you saw uh, in the video and that you will see later in the screenshots at the end of the video and of course uh, the other balcony which is located on the right side of the house um, so yeah um, it was really a lot of fun building this you know I'm always excited when there are new objects there are way more possibilities or you know you just you're just more creative when you have new objects and that's also why I love uh, CC's even if I don't do much uh, CC video but yeah and by the way this tile that was um, in the expansion pack is actually pretty close to the style um, that uh, oh my god how is it called again this is my favorite <laughs> custom content creator and I forgot his name uh, Peacemaker, yeah Peacemaker his tie is pretty close to what we can find in this expansion pack and I just like it and I think it's gonna match together really well so yeah probably in the future there will be a CC video with a mix of uh, the objects from this pack Oh yeah, and before I go, I would just like to tell you that there's a new option. Before we could uh, upsize the objects and now we are able to downsize the objects. So imagine all the possibilities uh, that come with this new option. This is crazy. We can do whatever we want now. And yeah, I saw many pictures on Twitter of people uh, creating things with this new option. And it, it looks just nice. And I can't wait to explore all the possibilities. I just tested it out and for the moment I think it is great. So I think I told you pretty much everything about the expansion pack. Maybe later when I will test the um, gameplay aspects of this expansion pack I will tell you more about it. But for the moment that's it and I really hope you enjoyed this video because um, I really I really feel, feel honored to be able to have an early access to the game. And yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to share if you want. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!